In Jabali, a refugee camp in northern Gaza, men dig frantically. This young man entombed may survive, but he'll bear mental and physical scars like so many. An Israeli airstrike brought down an apartment building. Hundreds are dead or injured, according to Palestinian health authorities. Israel confirmed the strike, saying it killed many Hamas militants and a top commander operating out of an underground web of tunnels. Clearly, civilians died too. This man says, oh God, my three children are gone, three kids. I hope I can find one alive. Israel intensified its offensive for a fourth day, penetrating deeper into Gaza from the north and east, trying to cut off northern Gaza from the south. The information war is on, with IDF supplied video every day, but no access to Gaza. Hamas's military wing released its own video, saying it shows the guerrilla-type attack Israel faces and the tunnels. A rocket sent by Hamas hit Ashdod in Israel and sirens sounded in Tel Aviv, a reminder it still has capacity to fight back. Israel's national security advisor says this escalation is just the beginning. The north is first, the south's turn will come. Even as Israel pushes Palestinians to the south, a public health catastrophe is imminent, according to the UN. More aid is promised, but it's a trickle and a humanitarian pause has been rejected by Israel. We could just hear bombings, airstrikes all night long. Palestinian Canadian Shouk Al Najjar fled Gaza City south to Han Yunus at the start of this war. After more than three, three weeks being stuck in this nightmare, I completely lost hope. I, I even lost hope in humanity. I don't, I don't understand how this is still happening and it's still going and, and no one is able to make an end to this. So honestly, I don't have hope. I don't know if we're going to survive this. Her father and brothers live in Edmonton. Her mom is with her in Gaza. When I sit with my mother, I talk. I just think, well, maybe this is the last talk I'm going to have with my mother. She's on a list with other Canadian nationals trying to get out. But there's no exit anywhere. And increasingly, no safe shelter either. So, Susan, when it comes to the hostages, Hamas is now saying it will free foreign captives in the coming days. Well, Israel would say, don't believe it. They lie. Caution is another word. I mean, Hamas has made several promises and threats over the last three weeks that they'd execute the hostages, that they'd release 50 at a time. What we do know is negotiations are ongoing constantly, but a senior Israeli official today said that an agreement is not close. All right, Susan Ormiston and the team in Jerusalem, thank you.